Welcome back to Window Shopping. Today we're going to dive into the wacky and wild world of Dolls Kill, which unlike the other brands in this series, I've actually never even considered buying anything from. I don't really know much about Dolls Kill to be honest, aside from the fact that they appear to sell alternative, alternative adjacent and alternative light fashions and accessories. Um, other than that, I just know that it's allegedly a terrible company that no one likes, which means we get to be extra mean in this window shopping. So keep some bread and a glass of milk nearby because this window shopping might get a little extra picante. A little extra mustard on this order, if you will. Uh, why did I say that? No, I want a hot dog. Okay. Oh, you know when you're like out in the summer and you walk past one of those carts selling those Italian sausages with the pepper and onions? Oh my God. You know in old cartoons when there's that like little waft of a scent drawing a cartoon character towards a pie cooling on a windowsill. That's what those sausages do to me. Immediately my eye is being drawn to this splash image, Dazed Ndelias. All new graphic tanks, sporty dresses, and carpenter pants. Now for the uninitiated, or for my much younger viewers, hi guys, how is high school? Are you excited about reading I don't know. Um, I don't know what kids read in English class these days. Great expectations? Do they still make you suffer through that monstrosity? What about Jane Eyre? Can you keep your eyes open during it? Anyway. Delia's used to be the spot for quirky, misunderstood girls growing up in the harsh landscape of the mid to late 2000s to express themselves via clothing. Not even the mid 2000s. Delia's had a whole Pax Romana of its own in the 90s when I was still learning how to walk, talk, and not shit myself constantly. Look at, this is amazing. This is from the 90s. This is Adelia's catalog from the 90s. And if I saw a kid on TikTok in this exact outfit, I'd be like, yeah, they've got their finger on the pulse of the zeitgeist stylistically. Ah, oh, I love it. Hold on. Yes, yes. See, this is my era. The, oh God, this bullshit. The baby doll tops, are you kidding me? The plaid shorts? I had the shirt. Basically every terrible outfit I wore between the years of 2007 and 2010 was at least partially the fault of Delia's. And now Dolls Kill owns their branding. So let's see what they're doing with it. This is the Delia's by Dolls Kill. Yeah, okay. Does the B in the word by stand for bastardized? We got a little skater girl starter kit. She's got her little outfit, got her little Nalgene, got her vans with her socks like she's Tyler the Creator in 2011. She's got a little flannel backpack, okay. You know what? I do think that this shirt is objectively ugly, but I appreciate how ugly it is. Because what did we just talk about? It's not Delia's if it's not kind of adorably hideous. Oh, this is a fun picture. I like this picture. I think this sort of encapsulates the vintage feel of Delia's like we just saw in the catalog. So I'll allow this. I have a bone to pick with this shirt in particular for a very specific reason. This is the She's Cherry Hot long sleeve graphic tee. Miraculously, the reason this shirt incenses me is not because it is almost $40. I actually just noticed that now. Uh, that's bananas. This shirt is dumping all over Delia's incredible legacy of fruit shirts, a legacy that I am personally very familiar with. This shirt is simply not tacky enough. Let me show you what I mean. I was the proud owner of one of the greatest fruit themed shirts ever. This is me in 2009 when I was 14 at my summer job, clearly hard at work. Behold the apple shirt. Okay, with a little heart-shaped patch sewn onto it for no good goddamn reason. And of course I paired it with silver hoops that I still own, my peace sign tote bag that I still own, and lime green chucks, which I absolutely do not still own. Look at how happy I was because I knew that I was proudly representing Delia's fruit shirt tackiness. This has absolutely nothing on this. Okay? If you want to get fruity with Delia's, you do it my way, all right? You do it my way. Look at these happy little apples. Do those cherries look as happy as these apples? I don't think so. I hope that was funny. I just scrolled way too many years deep in Facebook to find that picture. I've seen so many things I did not want to remember, and most of them were the various shapes my eyebrows were over the past decade. You can wear this skirt to Mushroom College. Hallucination Station Mushroom Mini Skirt. <laughs> Oh my god, drugs, right guys? French fantasy. <laughs> well, 
že ty je prostě Alice. How did you know? <laughs> ah, ty vem mon chapeau. Merci. <laughs> Own the scene, Beau Beret. She's beauty, she's grace, she'll put you in your place. This beret will put me in my place? Where is my place exactly? The costume trunk at a really low budget high school theater department? On the shelf with the other reject Madeline dolls? You're wearing something with two bows and a lace trim with a little chest cut out Fashion Nova Insta Batty Top and a choker? I want to see some ringlet curls. If you're gonna have ribbons cascading down your hair, they better be getting tangled up in the crunchiest toddlers and tiara ringlet curls I've ever goddamn seen. Commit to the look. Serpentine, the Eugene Sheer Midi Dress. Cause you in the queen. Oh, it's a typo. That's supposed to say is. Cause you is the queen. But instead, this uh, phrasing is implying that the queen and I have a much, much closer relationship than I think Dolls Kill wants us to. If this is your style, you know what? Rock a sheer midi dress. Who am I to stop you? What I have an issue with is why the asymmetrical hem? Hello, these are some nails. I don't think the queen would appreciate these nails if we are where this caption says we are. <laughs> I think we wanna maybe invest in an emery board before we pay the queen another visit dolls kill so this is great if you just got cast as one of the backup dancers in hamilton just hop on to dolls kill and pay 125 dollars this nude colored bodycon romper has a square neckline lace ruffle trim and hook front closures nude for whom marge simpson how is the hook front closure even gapping on the model like are we even trying to size things accurate I don't, I don't even have to finish that sentence. It's a fast fashion brand. Obviously not. They offer you very, very little titty allowance here. Look at that. That's gotta be what, like two, two and a half inches at the absolute most? Cause you're a high fashionista. Yeah, I mean, I'd pretty much have to be stoned to think that this is a fashionable outfit. This is the stuck on stupid black satin lace mini skirt which has a soft satin construction, a side cut out with a hook and chain detail, lace trim, and an invisible zipper. Shh, this zipper's a sexy little secret. It's so secret that it's invisible. Ooh. I love that they keep in the two original prices of this before it was marked down to its current amount. It's like, yeah, I believe you've had to mark this down twice. I know 4760 might seem like a lot, but this was once 80 whole dollars. So now it's basically free. Sometimes in these videos, I get to a point where I find a piece of clothing so unattractive that I can't even like really think of jokes about it. I just hate it. What is the goal? Oh, this is 60s mod vintage clothing. You know, my mom was a teenager in the late 60s and I feel like she probably dressed exactly like this. My mom probably had this. That's probably where they got it. They saw a picture of my mom in 1969 and they were like, okay, yeah. One day that girl's gonna give birth to such a bitch. <laughs> and are we getting a little bit high fashion here? The Isola Bella blouse will make their heart flutter. This is a romantic blouse. This is a blouse for seduction, romantic seduction. If you wear this blouse out, whoever you're with is going to fall in love with you. They're gonna look at you and be like, wow, I love how their shirt is the same color as their skin. I think all breasts are glorious, wonderful gifts from a higher power, okay? Including my own, even though I may not talk to them like I believe that. Does this stretch? Cause I'm gonna need this to stretch, Dolls Kill. Like a lot, like, probably all the way. I really like the makeup they put on this model. Look at her with the over the shoulder showing off the earring. She came to work, I love it. The Bellagio dress. I can't even tell when the dress starts and the lingerie begins and the model begins. I don't know what I'm looking at, but I know I don't like it. I get it, mesh clothing is hard to put a zipper on. This doesn't seem like the greatest execution we could have done. I feel like I'm looking at an optical illusion right now. Why did they put her in these god awful shoes? And socks to, what? Did this model just like come to the shoot straight from sexy mountain climbing and they were like, Ugh, Janelle, we don't have time to find shoes for you. Just sell it. Okay, Janelle, sell the garment. And she did, I will say. No, she didn't. Why am I saying that? No, she didn't. I don't want this. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> 
You set me up again. Everybody who requested doll skill, you are my enemy. I'm sending bad and evil thoughts to your brain right now. This is so cute. Positive thinking corset top. <laughs> oh my God. So two things about me. I love tapestry inspired prints and I love cats. With the beret and her hair, this model's gorgeous. This is wonderful. Like I personally probably wouldn't ever wear a corset top anywhere, but like, oh, the little kitties on this little skirt. Oh my God, I have a black top that I could wear with this. Ah, there's a bag. The boots match too. Sugar Thrills Positive Thinking Corset Top. Cause you're feline good. <laughs> <laughs> One of you knew this was here and you knew I would find it and you knew that I would fall in love with these little kitty cats. Look at them. Meow, these little babies. <laughs> you set me up! They're so cute, I want this skirt. <sighs> I'm out of tequila. <laughs> That's our dog. Oh! <gasps> Oh my God, I had polka dot nails when I took this picture and I have polka dot nails right now. Oh, oh my fingers. Oh, they're so slippery. Oh, my fingers are so slippery. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh no. I'm kidding. I'm not actually gonna buy anything. Babe, your bag is empty. <laughs> Look at this little scrotum shaped flower petal dripping from this droopy rose. Okay, but see, this is the other end of the spectrum. This is cat clothing that I don't like, but mostly because I just don't think these colors go, <gasps> wait, it's a little kitty cat purse. It's a little kitty cat purse. The cat has a hat. Do you understand? Tell me where the bag is. Tell me where it is, Dolls Kill. I wanna see it. What are, are these bears? See, I don't like these bears. I don't, I don't like how that looks. This looks like if you ever had to get like surgery done in a children's hospital, this is the print on the robe that they'd give you. Or there'd be like a print on the wall. This is just giving me very much children's hospital. Where's the goddamn purse, Dolls Kill? I wanna see it. I wanna see the purse. I'm going rogue. Cat purse. What? Why do you think this is what I want? Stuffed cat purse. Oh, for the love of God. Oh my God, it's a little egg! Oh, it's $38. Percy cat. If you're gonna be ridiculous, I'm gonna be ridiculous back, dolls kill. Oh, faster, but whatever. Back in my day, satin lingerie set. The sugar thrills back in my day, satin lingerie set. Cause you like to take it slow. Serve some retro realness in this satin lingerie set that comes with a triangle bralette that has ruffle trim, embroidered bow accents, a clap, claps, clasp, good lord, clasp closure, and matching cheeky panties with embroidered text on the bum. The embroidered text in question is the phrase granny panties in a font that I'm pretty sure is curls MT, um, giving very much brat doll packaging. My grandmother, God rest her soul, both of my grandmothers, God rest both of their souls. My great grandmothers, God rest their souls. Every single mother who raised another mother dating back to the very origins in the distant past of Mother Armenia and Mother Guyana, I don't think any of them wore underwear that looked like this. When I see underwear that doesn't sit on the waist and didn't come out of a package from Target, the phrase granny panties is nowhere in my brain in terms of describing it. Who's grandma showing out like this? I think I'm especially angry about this because I hate triangle bralettes because my boobs fall out of them. So I am discriminating against any bra that is shaped like this. <laughs> Sugar thrills, sews it begins, patchwork skirt, we'll stand the test of time. You're better together in this multi-print patchwork midi skirt that has a mesh overlay design, scalloped trim along the waistband, and a lettuce ruffle hemline. I'm better together with who? I thought they meant with the skirt, but if I'm better together in the skirt, then that's not who I'm better together with. Why this? Why, why, why make it? I recognize that skirts like this are kind of ugly on purpose and tacky on purpose, but there's a line 
And that skirt crossed it. Daddy's little princess. Daddy's little princess. Wow. Sugar thrills. I'm so spoiled graphic tank. Cause ya don't just want it. Ya want it now. Get your way in this sassy little tank top that has a scallop trim, a cropped fit, satin bows, and glittery text graphics on the front. Is that sassy enough, do you think? Sometimes people on YouTube describe me as sassy and I'm like, Thanks. Thank you. Black women love being described that way. Anyway. Daddy's little princess. I'm not here to kink shame anyone, okay? But I do think that this is one of the most embarrassing shirts I've ever seen. Few left? If you're watching this video and you bought this shirt, fess up! If you look at this shirt and you feel any desire to own it, I think for your health and the health of anyone around you, take a break from listening to Lana Del Rey for at least two to 17 business weeks. Don't mind me, I'm just here being daddy's little princess. A little jorset top dress with a jurse, a little distressed gem, some joning running up and down, crisscross jadis, some molded jups. And these jutes uh, start at the mid thigh and go all the way down into a jlat form jeel which is great. I like that Dolls Kill was like, we don't have a pair of pants that features two of the ugliest colors possible and that are also too short on purpose. What is this? Like, why do so many flares stop at the ankle? The model is 5'6". If they're this short on someone who's 5'6", these would be, God, I don't know, Bermuda shorts on me. One question, Dolls Kill. Just one little question, one little pregunta, if you will. Why does this shirt have an erection. What is this doing here? Why does this shirt have a little extra appendage? I don't, I don't know. What, is this the shirt you buy when you graduate from urologist school? Is that right? Urology. Fuck, wait, give me one second you guys. I need to fact check a joke. Your primary care provider will be able to manage many of these conditions for you if not he or she, just say they. Just say they, it's so clunky. May I refer you to a doctor who specializes in penis health called a urologist. Yes. Male fertility. Mm, okay. Are you at risk for prostate cancer? Find out with a free health risk assessment. No, I don't have one. Is it just one? Is it like a kidney thing? Are there multiple prostates or is it, it's just one, right? Just one prostate or are there a couple? I think there's just one. I think there's just one. It's just hanging there flaccid in the middle of the shirt for what oh the pretty models back hello giving very much sexy two-faced from batman halloween costume in my opinion there is nothing more rebellious than buying a 45 dollars mass-produced shirt that says rebel girl from a fast fashion website. Beige rebel girl knit sweater vest rules were meant to be broken nothing says fuck the system like beige. You know what? I have seen uglier plus sections. A lot of this stuff that isn't just plus versions of the straight size clothes is not that bad. Now see, normally when I say something nice, I'm then immediately accosted by something hideous. Hold on. Hi. What is this random lace panel? What is this mesh going in the back? Why are we putting this delicate top with bicycle shorts and lime green boots and glasses to match? Who styled this model? What? It just becomes like a mesh brassiere in the back with a keyhole that serves no purpose other than to make the shirt look even worse fitting than it already did? I don't like it. This model is too gorgeous to be in this shirt. This looks like you were wearing a nice cream colored sheer camisole that you then put a mesh backed lace strapless bra over. Oh, I don't get it. You want to run that by me again, Dolls Cal? Why to Kauai? Yeah, okay. Shut up. Dude, I have a shirt that has this like exact floral print on it. I was entirely wrong. But it's similar.
Right? Right. Mine's a little bit more matronly. Not only is this called her problematic poetry, layered graphic tea, the shirt itself says, roses are red, love is dead. Girl, if this is a poem, then I'm Maya Angelou. Not the clashing shades of pink. Come on. This is too magenta. This is a coral pink. You wouldn't wear these two shades of pink together. God, this is endless. Okay, I'm gonna get real close so you can't see this shirt that doesn't photograph well. Damn it. Well, I've already committed. We've come to the end of another window shopping video. Thank you so much for watching, but before you leave, I'm gonna need you to do a quick favor for me. If it's nice out where you are, go outside, pick a flower, feel the rain on your skin, release your inhibitions, have a good time, enjoy your life, and don't spend it <laughs> buying stuff from Dolls Kill. If you would like to interact with me betwixt uploads, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok at Nisi Pisa. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to use code Nisi Pisa for 10% off at checkout at your local bastardization of the legacy of Delia's store. No. Wait, that's just telling you to shop at Dolls Kill. Um, use it, use code NISIPISA at your local earring and shirt that clash set store. Goodbye. Book it on nails, once again. Can you see them? Can you see my nails? Can you see my nails?